A couple of months ago, my friend Candace and I recorded a podcast episode about personal style and clothes and what it looks like to have a personal style as a mom in your 30s, as a millennial, you know, all that stuff kind of rolled into one episode. Candace has more experience in fashion than I do, and she said something to the effect of, Emily, you have like a laid back, effortless, cool girl style. Effortless, cool girl chic? That really struck me because I feel like I don't have a style at all. Remember how last week's Getting Our Shit Together video was about money and finances and difficulties in that area? Okay, tell me why this video has been actually harder to film than that one. Tell me why I've been putting it off to the very last minute. This video is about my closet and my wardrobe. The goal word for this area of my life is thriving. I am not thriving in the clothing wardrobe closet department. I feel like none of my clothes make sense together. So what we're gonna do is pull it all out, analyze every single piece of clothing I own, and figure out if we can piece together a personal style from there. Another part of this is cleaning out my physical closet. Now, we are very lucky in that we have an enormous closet. It is a blessing and a curse because it is a landing place for all the stuff that doesn't really have a home. So it's full of crap right now, and I am going to have to clean that out. And I'm going to take you with me, and it's going to be really fun. Psych. It's clean-ish. This is stuff that is electronics and it needs to be like sorted through and stuff taken to like micro center. And this actually lives in here and I'm not messing with it right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna go through the hanging up clothes first and then I'll pull stuff out of the drawers. So here we go. I feel like this jumpsuit maybe gives clown suit vibes, but I really like it, so I'm keeping it. Two Hilara dresses that my mother-in-law got for me. Worth the hype, I'm sorry, they're worth the hype. Okay, I feel like I culled it down to a reasonable amount. 
the problem is going to be when it's time to get the winter clothes out from the basement. I'm going to have to go through this all over again because this is just the summer stuff. I have now gone through and gotten rid of all the clothes that don't fit me anymore, all the clothes that I don't really wear anymore, and the clothes that I never really wore. And I'm left with still what feels like a mishmash of clothes that don't make sense together, but at least it's only stuff that I wear. If you watched last week's video, you know that we're financially in a pretty tight spot right now, so I can't exactly afford to go get a new wardrobe, you know? So I think what I'm gonna do is show you on Pinterest what I would buy if I had money. So you can see I really am like a tank top and over shirt kind of girl. I love jeans. Um, I love sweaters. I'm a very basic bitch and I like it that way. Now, what have I learned from this exercise, this video? I've learned that I feel so much better when my closet is clean so much better and i have learned that i tend to hang on to clothes that i don't fit into with the idea slash hope that maybe i will someday fit back into them and i also kind of hang on to clothes as a just in case even though i never wear them going forward i'm only buying pieces that make sense with the vision i have for my personal style and that makes sense with the clothes that I already have. That's what I've learned. I would love to know in the comments if you followed along with this video and did anything in your closet. Did you physically clean the closet? Did you clean out your clothes? Did you donate some stuff? Did you buy some stuff and add stuff to your wardrobe? Have you figured out your personal style? I know this is a lot of questions, but I wanna know. So tell me in the comments. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.